Hey guys, welcome to the Jason Saunders channel. Welcome. Welcome my folks, my dudes, my dudettes. Welcome to the channel. Um, everybody, welcome. Have a good time. It's all about having a good time and just relaxing, watching stuff, watching videos, watching, you know, have some popcorn, have a good time because it's pickups time. It's here. It's arrived. It's at its destination on pickups day. All right, guys, welcome. Uh, we've got some pickups. We've got uh, a couple little treats and I... Uh, yeah, we got some good stuff. All right, guys. So let's get started. Uh, so I was at the dollar store. Who would have guessed? I was at the dollar store and uh, picked up a few little things. Uh, there were a couple of DVDs. It's another cool thing. Sometimes they got some cool DVDs, uh, you know, for $2 a piece. You can't go wrong. Uh, sometimes they do have some really crappy stuff that <laughs> for, for, for DVDs and things. But sometimes you find some treasures and whatnot so let's just show you what i got all right guys we got uh an american tale the mystery of the night monster uh this is like a continuation from the fifle series uh i remember watching fifle goes west that, that was one of my childhood uh favorite uh cartoons and uh so i was happy to pick this one up i think this is the third uh series from that fifle series uh yeah so uh was really happy to get this i guess this was three dollars sorry guys <laughs> this isn't two it's three yeah so very cool very nice to pick up and uh i got a land before time uh of the great giving and i guess these are like a couple of uh episodes so there's sinking sand game guess who's there game standing tough and sing along song <laughs> yeah it'll be good uh yeah so three dollars i mean land before time didn't they make a million of these land before time movies <laughs> i remember when the first one i watched the original one but and a few others but i think they were made they must have made like 10 movies or so it just seemed to go on forever and then they had a series I didn't think it was ever going to end. <laughs> you know, it's just an ongoing thing. Let's make some more Land Before Time movies. Let's do it. But uh, yeah, this was cool for $3, you know. So there's that. And then I picked up uh, Wanoa Ryder. She's in this, uh, Gone in the Night. I didn't know anything about this, but it was in the bargain bin for $5. So I thought I'd give it a shot. It's one of her newer movies. Uh, and one of the, the few movies that she's recently done. So... Uh, you know, um, I'm glad that she's back in the movie business and movie industry. Uh, you know, Stranger Things definitely helped out, and, and she's great. Um, this is a cool movie. It's not quite what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more, uh, I don't know, more intense. Well, it is pretty intense. Uh, it is definitely a good movie. I did enjoy it. Um, and it is intense, sort of, in a way. Uh, they... They, there's a lot of flashbacks, or not so much flashbacks, well they do, but they kind of explain, uh, they fill in the gap of like, okay, what's going on here, what happened there, and then they go back and then they explain it and they show it and see what, so that's kind of interesting. Normally I'm not a fan of that, but they do it well here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really, uh, it's a cool movie, check it out. And then I picked up... Uh, I wanted to see this movie for a long time, and I never got around to it. It's from the writer of uh, John Wick, and I think they're doing another John Wick movie anyway with uh, Keanu Reeves. But uh, this one is called Nobody, and uh, I, I watched one of the fight scenes and, um, on YouTube, and it just, it looked kind of, it was, it's funny, it's, it's crazily filmed. It's just, it's like in one take, you know. Um, and uh, he's fighting on the bus or subway. I can't exactly remember now. One of the two. But it's um, it's very realistic. Um, it's uh, an action flick. But uh, the action hero's kind of like anybody, really, you know. So he can throw the punches, but he's getting hit a lot, too. And, yeah, so I'm, I'm very curious to check this one out. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he's, this, this is the actor from Better Call Saul, so, yeah. Um, 
so there's that. I'm excited to, to watch. It's going to be an awesome time. Uh, so maybe uh, in another video I'll show my re uh, review on it or do a review. Maybe try that out. So we got some video games. We've got two games here. Uh, this one's fairly new. Just came out not that long ago. It's Fire Emblem Engage. This is the uh, new game to come out of the Fire Emblem series for the Switch. And it goes back to its roots. Um, it's a lot similar to the Fire Emblems that, we, that we're familiar with. Uh, Four Houses kind of broke away from sort of the battle system. And the fights, it wasn't so much about the fights. I mean, the fights are still there, but in this one, it's all about the fights. <laughs> you can still, uh, there's still segments where you can explore land and, and get items and things like that. That's really cool. But it's really deep in the st strategic strategy of, of battling and, and picking out uh, which is best. Like, if there's X people, you're going to want, like, um, you know, different units. And uh, if there's cavalry, you need specific units to defeat the cavalry because they're weaknesses. It's all about the weapons and what kind of trumps all the different weapons and things like that. So it's a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking on the fly. It's a really cool game. The graphics are really nice. They always, uh, they almost remind me of, like Sui Coden, the characters on Sui Coden, like uh, just, uh, yeah. Which they're also doing. Uh, a remake, not a remake, but they're uh, re-releasing them for the Switch and other systems as well. So that's cool, um, especially since the Sui Coden games are expensive, especially one and two. You expect to pay a couple dollars these days. Uh, so that's really neat, and they're doing the Tales of Symphonia as well, uh, which is really cool. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Uh, next one here, we've got Kurnov Data East. And a little uh, info, I have uh, Bad Dudes, and the first boss that you fight in Bad Dudes is Karnoff, which is the bald Russian guy with red pants and breathes fire. <laughs> yes, it's random. Uh, I've never played this one. I've seen a lot of gameplay on it, but I've never played this one. And for $5, um, it's it, it's a good game. For $5, you can't go wrong. Uh, it's a platformer action game. Uh, with power-ups, and, uh, yeah, you got a ladder, <laughs> so you, yeah, you can climb <laughs> up areas and stuff like that, it's pretty random. Kurnov has a ladder, yes. So, yeah, that's, that's really cool, and, uh, I've got a name in the back here, Hammerick, I've got your cart, if you want it back, you can't have it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I think that's his name, Hammerick, yeah, Hammerick, it's a cool name. Anyway, that's that's kind of a usual thing on, on NES carts. I've had a couple with my name on it, too, you know. <laughs> and it's always in marker. It's always in the permanent marker. Yeah, you know, I just I think I'm just going to leave it there. It's just kind of cool. It's just kind of a... And that's from Cash Converters, and they were selling it for $3.99. So, <laughs> yeah, so it's a little bit more than Cash Converters, but whatever. Yeah, uh, so there's that, and uh, yeah, that's about it for the pickups. Hopefully you guys all enjoy. Have a good day. It's snowing like crazy here today, so it's like, all right. I just uh, uh, shoveled the driveway, and uh, yeah, so we're getting back to that routine again. <laughs> it was kind of nice because we didn't have snow for the longest time, which is unusual because normally we get quite a bit of snow here. But it's definitely one of our warmest winters, one of our most mild winters here. Uh, so I'm glad for that, because this year I'm like, oh, I'm just not feeling the snow <laughs> this year, you know. <laughs> Other years it's like, oh, okay, whatever, you know. I guess the difference is uh, we didn't have the snow, really. And when you've got it, it's like, okay, i got to deal with it, you know. But anyway, guys, talk to you later. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, all that stuff. All right, guys, have a good day. Jason out.